Hi, this must be trailer week. <laughs> Again, now we have the, uh, I guess, teaser trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, the one produced by Michael Bay and starring, of course, uh, April, uh, I'll say, I was going to say April O'Neil. Yeah, April O'Neil is in it. But no, you have uh, Megan Fox, of course, Alan Richardson, Jeremy Howard, Pete Poslick, Neil Fisher, and Will Arnett, Danny Woodburn, and William Fickner. And the description says, Darkness has settled over New York City as Shredder and his evil foot clan have iron grip on everything from the police to the politicians. The future is grim until four unlikely outcast brothers rise from the sewers and discover their destiny as teenage mutant ninja turtles. The turtles must work with fearless reporter April O'Neil and her wise cracking cameraman, Vern Fenwick Arnett, to save the city and unravel Shredder's diabolical plan. Okay, let's see. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. Uh, let's make this big. Let's see if this is a commercial before this. Of course, gotta wait. 30 seconds, of course, so I don't want to miss any commercial. That's a good thing. 22, okay. There we go. Entertain the people. Okay. 10 more seconds of dancing. Okay, it'll be finished. Four, three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Violence and fear have run rampant. Our great city is being destroyed. People want justice restored to this world. People want heroes. Masonium. chance to see the turtles didn't look that bad. They actually looked good the way they moved. I have to give him credit for that. I think it's William Frickner's I forgot what his character is, but he's saying basically how the city's corrupt and everything else and then the city's these heroes and then you see the turtles doing some beat people up real super fast so you can't even see him. And then you see one turtle land in front of uh April O'Neil. I think that's uh I'm confused my turtles are in the back of her, and then and then I know this might be who says it looks just a mask, and then he takes off the mask, and then she faints. Uh, Megan Fox faints, uh, April O'Neil faints. Yeah, because that's much of a teaser, it's not much. Uh, so I'm not even gonna upload this video. Well, no, I'll you know what, I'll see it, I'll add it to something else. That wasn't much, that was just a teaser. Like I said, I always like to see the full trailer for judgment. That's more too much of a teaser. It looked okay, the tone of it actually it didn't look that bad, actually. So we'll see. I might add this to another video. I'm back again. Now this is going to be the trailer for Purge 2. Okay, like I said, the first one was a disappointment because it, they didn't really show what happened on the outside so much, which I think would have made the movie better. But this one looks like it's going to take place on the outside, so it, it'll be, it should be better. Okay, five, five seconds. Let's see how this looks for Purge 2. Soon be a war. 
Soldier, he plays on uh, Sawbones. Uh, uh, no, not Sawbones. Uh, geez, what the fuck does he play? And that guy's a director, but he's a Frank Gorilla. He was in a disconnect. He's a good actor. It starts with him. Uh, I think somebody's talking to him as well. I guess it's his wife saying it. It won't bring him back. She's telling him, don't, please don't go out there. You see him, he's like loading up with weapons and stuff. And then he, he ignores her and he goes out there. You see him getting in the car to drive. And then you see the scene that you see in the first Purge trailer, Purge 2 trailer, with a uh, the guy from Friday Night Lights and his wife, you know, the car, you know, not starting and stuff and break it down and they get out and start running, <laughs> of course. And then you see all the chaos and then you see the news reporter, you know, in the emergency, I think they even have the emergency broadcast sign warning coming up saying, you know, this is not a test, the annual purge, all crime will be legal, all that other stuff. And then you see, you know, various mayhem. But this one, they did it smart, I guess. I guess they learned their lessons from the first purge to show what's going on on the outside. So you can, instead of staying inside one family's house, you actually get to see what's going on in the outside, the, the chaos and stuff, and the killings and all that stuff. And there was, I think there was a shot in there of some guy getting hit by a bus. And then you see another shot where Frank Grillo's driving, and then you see the, the uh, a bus on fire just cruising by. And then I think you see, I think it's two girls in a hotel room. And then all of a sudden somebody breaks in there and they grab them out and drag them out. And, you know, they, you know, put them on their knees like they're getting ready to execute them. And then that's when Frank Rello drive, he's driving the car and so just drive by, just drive by, just keep driving. And he stops and he gets out and, you know, and basically shoots at them and grabs the, you know, the two girls who say thank you. And they, and they said, we have to look to see, he tells them basically, we got to keep moving. And they keep moving. Then they show, of course, uh, the guy from Friday Night Lights. I forget the guy, actor's name is, but he was good on Friday Night Lights. Yeah, you know, he was the guy with the, uh, his father wasn't there. He lived with his grandmother. I forgot the guy's name, the character's name. But anyway, he's, uh, him and his wife, you see them running, trying to survive. More chaos and mayhem and ensues. And then you see uh, what I think is a great shot. You see uh, all of them up on stage, you know, Frank Rillo, the two girls, and, you know, the guy from Friday Night Lights and his wife and a few other people. And you see this lady looks like Hillary Clinton, believe it or not, saying the bidding, this is the last part of the of the purge, the last part of the evening of the purge. The bidding will start the bidding, you know. And basically, I guess people get, get the bid on who to kill. Which is great. Let's see this. Now they really up the ante with this, with the purge too. This looks like it's going to be a really good, like the way the first one we should have been. Anyway, let me know what you think of the purge too. Feel free to leave comments down below. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care. Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Apparently, there's a magnificent a Wings trailer that I haven't seen yet. 
So I'm going to review that, give you my live reaction review to that, and I think I'll add it to my other review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a sec. And the, uh, there's something else that I reviewed too, which I can't remember. There'll be three trailers and reviews and reactions. I forgot the other things that I reviewed. But um, let's, let's watch this. Let's see. Still a gift on the child. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she will fall into a sleep like death. Curious little beastie. Started off, I think, like one of the other trailers where you see her magnificent walking down, you know, when the baby's born. Sleeping Beauty's. Is it Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. Is it Sleeping Beauty? No, not Sleeping Beauty. Anyway, um, but she's walking and she tells her, and the king, that he likes to bestow a gift upon her. And then she said, around her 16th birthday, she will fall into a deep sleep. And you see her, like, pricking her, her finger. And then she kind of a wicked grin. And then you see. More shots of uh, uh, is Dakota Fanning? Yeah, Dakota Fanning. Not Dakota, it's Ellie Fanning, right? Yeah, the sister. Yeah, I think it's Ellie Fanning. Yeah, uh, you see her, you know, seeing the previous trailers going up and saying, um, I know you're there. And you come out, and then she said the same line about, If I come out, then you'll be scared. And then you see her like backing off a little bit, and then you see her talking to her, telling her there's evil in the world and all this stuff. Revenge and all this stuff, and then you see the king pounding his fist, and then you see him with a knife, stabs him on the table to bring near her head, and then you see that battle that you see in the previous trailer with her wood creatures, and she has to call upon all the creatures to fight, and you see them fighting the armies and stuff, and then you see a nice, great shot of, of uh, Angelina Jolie's the Mr. Kara spreading her wings and landing, and then you see a shot of, uh, not Ellie, is it Ellie? Yeah, Ellie Fan. I think it's Dakota. No, it's Ellie Fan. Yeah. The sister uh, saying, "Are you the mix it? And I guess like she, well, you can, well, you can presume for that. I guess from the trailer that she didn't know. Like she, you can tell, like she spent time with her. And she know, like she said in her piece, like she knows she's been watching over her. And then she's asking, "Are you magnificent?" And and, and then you see her flash that that wicked grin again. So actually, this looks this. I'm looking forward to this movie, magnificent. It looks really good. So. Uh, I can't wait to see this. So let me know what you think of this Wings trailer. I mean, this is just slightly different from the other ones. So I mean, you can see that great shot of her spreading her wings and landing. That, that was cool. Okay, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Baxter saying so long and take care.